Hey makers, how are you doing? If you're new here, my name is Marian and here on YouTube, I help candle makers around the world make better candles and sell them online. And if you know me already, welcome back. Thank you for being on that journey with me. We've just crossed 10,000 followers. Woo! I remember that video when I was like, oh, thank you for 400 subscribers. And now here we are, so this is just really cool. Thank you very much for all of you spending time watching the videos. I really, really appreciate it. This video is sponsored by Bowen Nickel. Um, doo -doo -doo. I will put all the deets for Bowen Nickel in the description box below, so check it out. And I've got also a 10% code for you that I will put right here to use on all their websites. And they don't only make candle supplies, they make things for soap maker as well, wax melt, container candles, all things making, they do. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this. I'm going to go upstairs to do that because um, I've been making in the studio all afternoon. It's a bit of a mess, so I need a bit more space to unbox. And today in this video, we're going to unbox together, discover what's in the box. I don't know what they sent me. And we're going to pour and demold. Stay tuned to find out what I got and what it looks like as a finished product. Thanks Bo and Nicole for sending this over and sponsoring this video. Um, link down below and 10% off on everything with my code. This has been delivered a few days ago. It's quite heavy. Oh, I'm excited. It's actually really, really cute. They've got a uh, custom tissue paper here. Ooh. Uh oh, this is cool. Well, there's some. There's a really big one. Let's go and look at the first one. So the first one is what I call a flat mold. So this is a Christmas tree here. It's white silicone. It's super soft. Um, it's not really deep. It's a mold that I would probably wick from in the length from the top to the bottom here. Um, it's really thick at the bottom and thick on the side, as you can see. Um, really cool shape. Definitely a really cool one to try out. It's what I call a flat mold because it's quite easy to pour. You lay it flat, you pour. It's usually quite simple to demold. So really cool seasonal one. Oh, all right. Okay, this one, I'm guessing, is a David half face mold, from what I can see here. Yeah, from what I can see looking at the shape inside, it looks like it's a David half face mold. So really, really cool design if it's the one I'm thinking about. That's what I'm thinking about. I'll add a little uh, picture right there from their website. Um, so it's the same thing. So you will pour it this way and I will definitely pull my wick this side. So from the top of this head to the bottom of the head. So that could be a really interesting one. There's this huge one, it's really heavy. And there's clips inside, so apparently it's, it's open on the side. Hmm. I can't tell what it is, like what shape it is from just looking at it like this. So it opened on the side and I've got some clips to be able to then go there and hold so the wax doesn't leak. Um... It looks like there's little seashell on the side. So it looks like seashells. Oh, this is going to be a mystery until we demold it. This is going to be a proper surprise. I'm not going to go and check on the website what it can be. A big one. Like this looks like a good like 800 gram of wax. Like the mold is really heavy. It's very thick. I love a mold that is cut in the length like this. Uh, because then you can, it's easy to, to take it out and demold. This one I'm excited to see because I've got no idea what it actually looks like. I've got some detail from looking inside of like mini seashell, but let's find out. And then this is what we have. 
And what I really like with this, um, this mold maker and mold supplier is that it comes with a sleeve. I'll exp I will explain when, um, when I show you and take it out properly and all the elastic bands. So here you go. So it comes with all the elastic at the right side for that sleeve. That sleeve is that little tube that goes around the mold itself and it's going to protect it to keep the shape. So it's going to help in many ways. First thing it's going to do, it's going to be able to, to stand the mold to be able to pour from one side. So this is the opening here. So you'll be pouring it from this side. There's also a spot at the bottom where you should put your wick through. It's not pierced, but it's marked where you should pierce. It's really a great help to be able to put the wick at the right spot. Um, to know exactly what shape you're getting, the, the sleeve are kind of engraved with the code of the mold. So you, if you've got many from the same supplier, you know exactly which one you're looking at. Because from the outside, like just looking at the sleeve like this, you can't tell. And just looking at the, the mold itself, it's going to be really hard to tell as well. So the mold itself comes out of the sleeve this way. Ooh, this is exciting. It looks there's like palm trees on it. So it's cut in the length. So usually your wick is going to come through here all the way to the dots that you see at the bottom here that I will pierce. Oh, check this out. This is going to be palm trees. This is going to be so cute. Oh, I can't wait to test this one. So that's the first one of the long molds. I've not seen a sleeve like this before. So it is a probably like a cone shape because looking from the outside of the sleeve, it looks like it's more on a cone shape than a straight candle. You can see it's narrower at the top than it is at the bottom. I've got an elastic band as well. So let's see. Oh, ah! oh I feel like it's Christmas before the time. It's like a unicorn candle. So as you can see, as I said, it was like a more cone shape and it is ribbed and it will look almost like a unicorn horn candle. So very, very delicate shape. Um, I will need to pierce here for the wick and all the way through. Okay, that's all of them. I'm gonna get the wax melting and turn my melters on and I will meet you in the studio so we can pour those babies. I'll see you in a minute. All right, so how I go about this is I usually have a good idea now because I've been doing this for a while, but I tend to measure the molds and then go with the wicks that I'm using for similar size candle. Obviously, it's not an exact science, so testing is always the way to go. I can't say this enough on this channel. Um, I'm using raw wicks, so this is the TCR series. I've got all the size in my studio, and depending on the size of the candle, I choose which one I think is going to be the best, but it's not necessarily going to be the first one I test. The big one is definitely going to have to be my biggest wick. So this is the Eco Series. This is Eco 16. I don't even think it's going to be big enough, to be honest. But let's first see what it is because I'm so curious. So I'm just going to go with my biggest wick for this one. For the tree and the dining candle, I'm just going to go with basic cotton wick for this just because for the first test they never burn well so i'm just gonna go with the easiest one so all my candles are usually uncolored so i'm gonna carry on with that theme for this i'm just gonna go with the tree here and standing candles so Piercing, we're going to follow exactly the dot there. And the easiest way is go to go from the outside in. So you want to go on the dot, pierce in the middle, and then get your wick through and catch it from here. Here we go. All 
right, my wax is melted and it has the right temperature. I am using, as always, my trusted Kerasoy Pillar Blend. I'm just going to go ahead and do just that. To avoid air bubble, especially on the long one, I'm tapping them, not necessarily gently as you can see. This will get all the bubbles that are trapped in the various cavities of the mold to release and rise to the top. This is where we're at. I've centered my wicks. So here we are. The wax is poured on all our molds and we will see tomorrow for the demolding. All the candles are set overnight and are fully set, as you can see. So a really nice smooth uh, finish here for all of them. So we're going to go ahead and demold them. Demolding the shape for the first time, especially when you don't know them, you need to be super careful. But in general, just pull gently on the edge of the silicone here. It's really, really soft, so it's really simple. And it should just come out okay and for those flat shape I like to put them like this and gently press toward on the bottom until the shape is safely out of the mold just gentle press here we go all right now with our david so some people sometimes ask if you need to cut those molds so no they are really really soft they will definitely allow you you know they've got plenty of room to you know pull on the side and get the candle out so no i think it makes your life more well more difficult to cut the mold because then you need elastic bands and You've got more chance of leaking. It's actually harder, in my opinion. Here we go. Look at that beauty. Dining candles. So this one, I'm excited to see. There's going to be palm tree. We saw that when I unboxed. Open the sleeve. So... You need to be super gentle with dining candles. So you're going to open from the bottom all the way up. And gently pull apart without applying too much pressure at the back where you could just like snap the full candle. That's kind of the hard part, I'd say. Then I would suggest doing this. I know it's a bit scary, but it's not going to go anywhere. And then grab your candle as soon as you can and gently pull. You look how detailed this candle is and the mold is. You've got the palm tree, you can see the coconuts on it. It's really a lovely candle. Okay, and let's find out. Oh, I was wrong. It's not a scallop at all. It's a face. Can you believe this? It's a tricky one. I'm I'm gonna be honest, like I'm used to molds and making candles but this one is tricky to get out and this is why i got that nautical theme it's because of all seashell i realized that there was seashell when i opened the mold um it's a face
있고 really pretty like i said like it looks like a unicorn horn and here are the final shapes as you can see super detailed you can see this there's a little heart in his eyes the face has got some lovely seashell in the hair very detailed mold you can see the coconuts the detail of the leaves and the tree looks really good so this is where we are that's it for today thank you for watching and following the unboxing pouring and demolding thanks for nicole mold to sponsor this video i'll put the link to their website in the description box below thanks for watching and if you're not subscribed to this channel please subscribe i'll see you very soon bye bye